Hello everyone, good morning and happy Saturday. The weekend has arrived and I'm going to say like The Rock would always say when he knew that something good was always on the horizon and has arrived. He would say these words, he would say this word and I quote, finally, the weekend has arrived. Yes, yes it has it, yes it has. And September is halfway being closed, so make the most out of this month because I know I'm looking to I'm looking forward to October, where not only do we have Halloween, but all that really makes you feel like it's if you can calm down, relax, enjoy the cool, crisp air, and enjoy the leaves falling down, even when they change colors as ever. I know this. I'm not gonna lie. This just summer was alright, but it was annoying. But it was reckless with the heat being such a real problem. So I'm just glad the reckoning is over and we can just enjoy fall as ever. So yeah. So my friends, loves today. I am making another poem video. I am making a poem video. This another poem video. This is. This is about. I believe this is 190. Yes, 190. 190. And last night I had written a new poem that um that holds very dear to my heart, especially when you mention autism, especially when it comes to autism awareness, and the autism program that I love going to all the time to see everyone there. It's a very, yeah, it's a very wonderful program for all autism fellows that are on the spectrum to come, and not feel judged, criticized, and berated as ever. I want everyone to have a good time and just feel welcome in a very wonderful, saving grace place that everyone could really come to and blend in and not feel shut out by society. So yeah, this is a is a very wonderful um it's a very wonderful place. I'm gonna tell you this before I read the poem. So here we go. In 2019, I came to Autism Families Connecticut as a volunteer. I wanted to give back to the autism community because it had done so much for me when I found out about my diagnosis throughout my teenage years. And I wanted to give back so bad because the autism community was having, I want to say, a difficult time not being noticed very much. And everyone was just looking at, sorry about the telephone, so yeah. Everyone was just noticing about how autism has always been a dangerous disease and illness that just needs to be gone, eradicated, or exterminated. When I, to tell you the truth, I never saw autism as a dangerous disease. I saw it as a blessing because you really want to become your own character and that was always the best part about being your um being your own character. I mean, you want to be your own character so you're not be like everyone else is these days. Yeah. And I remember that very much because I have very difficult time with my finding my individuality so when i found out about my diagnosis i was surprised and relieved because now i could be my own character that i love being especially when it comes to um all the autism fellows that are on the autism spectrum <clears throat> so when i came to autism Families connecticut i knew i was in a very wonderful safe haven and a saving grace place where everyone can come to see you all the time and they love seeing you they love seeing you very much, especially when you become something to them that they love seeing as ever, and that's a role model because you can relate to what they've been through in their entire lives as ever. <clears throat> and I remember every time I went to Autism Friends Connect, I love going there to see the children, the teens, even hang out with the young adults because I am also on the autism spectrum. I'm on the autism spectrum, so I would hang out with the um with those who are the young adults are on the autism spectrum. It's always good to connect with those and have a good time with them as you blend in and have a good time, even bond with them as ever. So yeah. Yeah, so it's always good to go to Autism Friends Connecticut. It's like getting away from what you have to put up with and deal with as part of everyday life. When I think of Autism Friends Connecticut, I know I'm always going to the safe haven that everyone loves very much as ever. So yeah. And speaking of the safe haven, this is why today's poem video, I have a poem that I have written on Autism Families Connecticut, mentioned as a very wonderful safe haven for those that are on the autism spectrum from young children to teens to young adults as ever. So this is going to be a very good poem. You're going to love this one. So trust me. But Autism Families Connecticut has been a very wonderful safe haven, especially in my eyes as ever, when you feel like as if you are in a very wonderful and loving and caring place that cares, loves, and adores you very much, no matter where you come from in life. And I have always enjoyed that as ever. I love working with the people that I know very much. I love working, I love working with um, 
my favorite superhero, Miss Leah Moon, who I love seeing every time. Whenever we have events coming up, we have Ray Garino, who I know as ever. I mean, who I happen to love seeing so much as ever. He's a fun lad, and I believe he says the same about me, so you know. So, yeah. And then we have Jackie, Leah Moon's daughter. Yeah. She has a son that's also in the autism spectrum, and he comes to the events that AFC puts up every night, especially teen nights, even when it comes to getting together with everyone. And we got special wonderful, and we have wonderful events coming up for next month. I believe we have a... Uh, Autism Fairness Connecticut has a sec has our has its yeah. Autism Fairness Connecticut has the second annual golf fundraising event coming up in October. It's on October seventeenth, and and to tell you that it, yeah, it's on October seventeenth. Yeah, and it's gonna be a real wonderful event. I remember the first one we did last year, and I remember speaking to everyone that was there having a good time. It's all about having a good time, coming together, and. Yeah, I remember speaking how I felt how autism has been a blessing, especially around, especially along and on my journey. So it's always good to have a blessing when you feel you could be your own character in a way that you would know instead of being like what everyone is these days. So autism has always been my has always been a blessing to me, and I will always definitely be happy. I will always be happy and loving for that. So yeah, yeah. So Autism Fans Connecticut has its second annual um, golf fundraising event coming up October 17th. It will be held at, I believe, the Hartford, the Hartford Golf Club in West Hartford, Connecticut. So if you love having gotten your tickets yet, feel free to. And, yep, I will be passing out something to represent Autism Fans Connecticut. So hold on, let me get this. I'll show you the example. Just give me one second. I am going to be passing these out. So far, I have about, let's see, 11 of them. So I got three left to do. And, and I believe 11 plus three will make this about, yeah, hold on, 11 plus three. This will be about 14. Yeah, 14 I have done. So yeah, yeah, 14 will, yeah, all will be taken care of. And trust me, I was just talking about something. Yeah, so, yeah, 14 of these, I believe you'll see at the event come October 17th. So, yeah, very, very much. Oh, yeah, as ever. So, yeah. Yeah, so October 17th is our golf fundraising event. And for anyone that knows Autism Fans can I get very much. Oh, you're more than welcome to come. Have a good time. And definitely, yeah. Just have a blast, yeah. But I'm gonna get down to what I'm about to do right now. So let me get out the poem that I've written about um autism family about autism families Connecticut. And trust me, this is a very good one coming from me. Just checking to make sure I got everything together. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And to tell you this: now that I work, now that I volunteer at Autism Fans Connecticut, I now work there as a clinician, and that has been a. I'm not gonna actually. It's been a very wonderful thing to me because I love coming to see everyone that's on the autism spectrum, especially when they come to see me all the time. They love seeing me as ever, and love it when the smiles always brightens. I love it when smiles brightens everyone's faces. So you know, as ever. So yeah. So here we go, my friends. Here we go on uh, the poem that I wrote about autism fans Connecticut being a safe haven for all autism fellows on the autism spectrum. So here we go. I call this poem The Safe Haven of AFC. AFC stands for Autism Families Connecticut. Here we go. The Safe Haven of AFC. Autism Families Connecticut is my saving grace. I remember the first time coming to my favorite place. You have the little fellows who look up to you very much while relating to them with a gentle and calm touch. This place became a wonderful safe haven to exist where we celebrate autism awareness on our main list. You have this comfortable landscape available for every autism deer who has felt lost, abandoned, and left out, which are the worst to fear. 
Autism has played a very important role you can never destroy. I have always remembered that since I was a boy. We are fighting for the greatest truth to rise. The last thing we need, the last thing we need is to live in severe despise. I love being autism fans because I get gun for hire. When you find yourself against those feeling the reckless fire. I will always be there for those who feel left out. They have nothing to worry about. The truth, they have, yeah, they have nothing to worry about. Yet, yeah. The truth has been super denied for far too long. The time has come to write our release song. Justice is a memorable, is a memorable concept to reach. When you see autism as a blessing to preach. Autism Fans Connecticut will not be invaded. That is a promise I have always made. Always stick to a promise to keep. So nothing falls far very deep. Thank you for your time of need. There you have it, my friends. That was the poem I had written on Autism Fans Connecticut being a safe haven for all autism fellows on the autism spectrum. Yep. As the poem was called, The Safe Haven of AFC Autism Families Connect. So, yes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this poem video. This was 190, and 190 was a very good one to come up with. So, in my YouTube channel, I wouldn't believe this will make this about, this one makes it about 238 videos I have done. So, that's, wow, that's amazing. I agree, I said. So, if you guys watch this poem video, please do. I mean, especially here, especially hearing me and seeing me read this poem on Autism Fans Connecticut, being a wonderful safe haven, and you would love it. I mean, to tell you, yeah, we are located in Newington, Connecticut. Yep, yeah, and everyone is welcome to come to Autism Fans Connecticut, especially for autism fellows that are on the autism spectrum can have a good time. The range, the age range is from three to thirty-five. So yeah. Young, from young children to teens to young adults. So we want everyone to have a good time and not feel left out, not even shunned, not left out, shunned away, or sent away by society. So we want everyone to have a good time, blend in, and not feel judged, criticized, and berated as ever. So yeah. So I hope my uh, so my friends, I hope you enjoyed this poem video. I say this right out. Thank you for thank you for your um time of watching this poem video. This was one ninety, and I hope you enjoyed this one. So, thank you. Take care today. I know I have to take care of schoolwork and all, but I'm going to be joy watching the Boston Bruins taking on the Philadelphia Flyers. Yep, I think it's the preseason going on for the Bruins. So yeah, I'll be watching that today. So yeah, gonna enjoy that. So as I say, loves, take care. Enjoy this weekend, make the most out of it, and I'll see you the next time I make another poem video. 191, yeah, 191, 191 will be on the way. So, thank you, take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, my friends.